Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you your monthly read for March 2023. I am aware it is mid-March already, so this is going to be for the remainder of March. And this week's March week monthly re reads are going to count for the weekly read as well. So there's not going to be two different reads this week. Uh, I apologize. It's been a rough day. My energy is quite low, but I just wanted to get something out, guys. So this is for Geminis. I apologize again, like I said. Um, we are going to do What's Coming Toward You in Love for Geminis. I am using a new deck called the Light Sprite Tarot um, C.A. Mallad, I believe is how you say it. Um, the Love and Romance Journey Queen Sugar Tarot cards we're going to pull. The Soul's Reflection Love Oracle deck, To Be Honest by Divine Moon Empress, as well as another deck from Divine Moon Empress, Love Mixes 2000's Lyrics of the Heart. So... We're going to be pulling cards for Geminis. This is a general read, so take what resonates, guys, and leave the rest. If you feel like um, this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below to get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below to get to my personal webpage. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Um, let's get into it. Ooh, you got the magic stick. What? What, Geminis? Um, someone coming in with so much passion. If you know what the magic stick is from watching my videos, if you don't know what it is, you can check out the song Magic Stick. 50 Cent Lil' Kim. Passion, intense chemistry. Five of One. The Star card. Eight of Pentacles. And Ten of Wands. Interesting, interesting. Four swords on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like we have some cards here um, that I might clarify. I'm just going to clarify this Ten of Wands energy because the Ten of Wands energy is laying down a burden. Uh, I want to just kind of clarify what this burden is going to be that you need to lay down. Because otherwise, I feel like um, well, we have the Five of Wands, which is also like conflict or competition. Okay, so uh, okay, so this is what I think, guys. Um, so we have the Ten of Wands here, and I feel like this is your energy of feeling like I have been waiting so long for a relationship because it's clarified by the Temperance, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest moving knight in the deck. The Nine of Pentacles is like a like um. A singular energy it's like someone who's focused on themselves working on their finances building themselves up and then the temperance card which again is divine timing so I feel like this ten of wands is like you have been carrying this burden of like just I really want to find love I really want to be in a relationship like what in the world is taking so long and I almost feel like Gemini's you're kind of like let me just set this bag down it's not happening. It's not coming. I'm just going to set this bag down because it's been weighing me down. And I think that um, once you kind of stop chasing love, it's going to come in and smack you on the head, <laughs> to be truly honest. So I feel like um, you're ending like this consistent looking for, looking for, looking for, looking for love, right? You're going to start focusing on yourself, I think. Um, things will start to come into balance. You're not going to be so hyper-focused on finding a person. Um, and then someone slowly, slowly, but surely will just kind of gallop, not even gallop, clip-clop <laughs> um, into your life. It's going to be something you don't expect. I feel like it's going to be something that's so passionate, that's how you're going to recognize it. It's going to be a really passionate connection. But I do feel like it's not one without conflict. So I feel like either there are going to be um, more than one suitor kind of coming your way, and you're going to have to kind of hash through who it is or the person that you're um, experiencing coming towards you might have some other people kind of vying for attention. So again, I'm not sure if you're going to have multiple suitors or if they are. Um, I feel I feel like it might be you having multiple suitors, but um, I think the person that is coming is going to very much be a soulmate. We have this Eight of Pentacles energy, so for me this is... Um, hard work. This person's going to recognize it takes hard work to make love work, right? You have to put in effort. You have to put in time. You have to put in 
your your um, heart you have to put in your soul you have to put in your mind you have to give everything into a relationship right like you don't need to lose yourself obviously but you definitely need to know that relationships take time they take understanding they take patience they take compromise they take comprehension you have to listen to what your person says it's always work right like you have to pair together work together and it's hard and it takes hard work constantly, right? Again, this is going to be an extremely passionate, passionate situation with this Ace of Wands. New passionate start. And then we have the Star card, which to me is a wish fulfillment. So um, I feel like you definitely have a wish fulfillment coming. Um, lots of passion lot in a true love situation. The bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So this is like rest and relaxation, recuperation. Um, this comes after the Three of Swords where there's heartbreak. So I feel like, um, you know, perhaps this is just showing like your your heart was broken previously. You've been in this healing stage. You've been waiting, 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 waiting for love. And now you're going to be like, you know what, let me just put that burden down. Then I feel like you're going to have so many people coming towards you. And you will have to figure out who this person is um, that's going to be like head over heels for you. It's going to be your wish fulfillment. It's going to be someone who's super passionate. It's going to be a soul connection. So I feel like you're going to know who it is, um, even if you have multiple suitors coming towards you. All right. So we have gifts and offers that just flew out of the deck. Um, this is the Love and Romance Journey deck by Queen Sugar Tarot. Masked offer. I kind of feel like there's going to be multiple people, like I said, vying for your attention. So I think some of them might have a masked offer. They might not be very honest hidden truth. Yeah, they're going to potentially not tell you what they're thinking. And then we have uh, engagement and wife. And on the bottom of the deck, we have destiny. So I definitely feel like um, they're so in this in this group of people that's coming towards you, I feel like you're going to have someone that's masking who they really are. Um, and someone who could potentially be not telling you the truth about how they really feel. So this doesn't have to be like a devious thing. This could be your person just showing up and not being their true authentic self um, and trying to be something they're not. But the, the truth is going to come out, right? The hidden truth is going to come out. I feel like they could also be like playing down their feelings for you. Because I think when you guys come together, you're both going to recognize the intensity of the situation. Um, and this person is going to have a lot of passion for you. So I think um, it might start that way, right? Like it might start off as a very passionate connection and lead to more, lead to much more because then we have gifts and offers, right? And then we had engagement and wife. So um, this is going to lead to a higher level commitment. This is going to lead to a marriage. This is going to lead to a wife, husband, wife situation, husband, husband situation, uh, wife wife situation whatever you want to call it and again this is a destined journey right and it's divinely guided divine timing all right i think this is awesome gemini's let's get the love or i'm sorry the soul reflections love oracle deck i'm going to pull three cards from here for gemini what's that one faith and destiny again we got a destiny card things will work out in the end the past returns perhaps an ex-lover or a past life lover in the hands of time, wanting to grow old with you. Yeah, this is going to be a committed, committed relationship. This is going to be a high level commitment. This is what you've been waiting for, Gemini. This is what you've been waiting for. All right, we're going to use the To Be Honest deck from Divine Moon Empress. This deck can have some very blunt, direct messages. So we're going to give you a trigger warning just in case we get a not so great one. You can see this is quite a large deck compared to my tarot deck. I mean, tarot deck's like 78 cards. I feel like it's about this much, right? So this is almost a double tarot deck, but um, we're going to see what messages pop out for Geminis. What, does, what do Geminis need to hear? And just take what resonates, guys. If you feel like um, these messages don't make sense, uh, then don't take them. So it's, I really like you. The grass looks a lot greener over there. It usually isn't. Um, and I'm going to block you if I haven't already interesting so I feel like maybe um, maybe I'm gonna block you if I haven't already the grass looks a lot greener over there this might be messages I feel like from the multiple suitors you could potentially have right or you to them like trying to kind of figure things out but I think you're gonna know and you're gonna like this person um, and they're they're gonna really like you they're gonna tell you like I really like you and maybe there's like a joke about the grass looking greener so I don't know, you can tell me. Or even a joke about I'm going to block you if I haven't already. 
Like, I almost feel like that might be like, I feel like you're a little obsessed with me. I'm going to block you if I haven't already. And then the person might be like laughing, haha, and then be like, no, I really do. I really like you. So um, take that how it resonates, guys. All right, so we're going to finish off your read, Geminis, with the Love Mixes 2000s Lyrics of the Heart. This is also from Divine Moon Empress. And these have um, actual song lyrics on them. The, the song itself might be pertinent to your situation. It might be significant to you, but um, we also have a lyric message on here. So this is Lady Hear Me Tonight by Mod, Modjo, 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 I don't know how to say it. M-O-D-J-O, Modjo, Modjo. Anyways, the lyric says, I feel loved for the first time, and I know that it's true. I can tell by the look in your eyes. So I do. I feel like this is really going to be somebody your soul recognizes, guys, um, when it all comes together. So that's your read, Geminis. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until the next time, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching.